Alrighty, welcome to another four on four draft. I've got myself, Matt Lindy, US national champion from 1998, uh, Sandy Dog, and Eomatic battling against Slurp, Dan the Man, Mac the Knife, and Alpha Frog. So we've got a four on four. And once again, oof, these packs have not been kind to me recently. It just it just means at some point I'll open all the power I could ever I could ever want. Well, that's not true because the, there's no limit to how much power I actually would like. But certainly would like to have a first pick better than windswept teeth, which hasn't been the case. I will take the windswept teeth though. I think it is certainly better than Taiga, Chain Lightning, Pentad Prism. I mean, this is the cards we're talking about here. We're not talking about great stuff. Some mediocre card. I mean, they're all playable, so something's gonna wheel that's playable, but really not too exciting. Um, pack two, probably just Preordain. I think Preordain's awesome. I do think Ketria Triumph is one of the better Triumphs to combine with Heath. Basically, for a Triumph, you want a one that only overlaps with one color with the fetch for maximum fetchage. This, this is now white, green, red, blue, for example. And a red, blue based Triumph is also one of the, typically one of the stronger ones. That said, Preordain is just so good that I don't think I'm going to pass it. There's a Bank Buster here, a Winter Orb, the Prismari Command, Bone Shards, the two Triomes. So let's do in two, four, or five, six, and then maybe Esper Sentinel will go. But I'm gonna take Preordain, and then oh, this is a this is a strong pack. There's been two cards taken out, and there's still a Cradle, a Force of Will, and a Channel, as well as a Dark Ritual and an Echo of Eons. I'm probably just gonna take Force of Will. I think Force of Will is pretty busted. It's one of the best cards in the cube. It's obviously not like power or quite at the like Minsk and Boo level or Swords to Plowshares level, but it's not that far behind. Just making a big play and tapping out and then forcing their play is such a huge way to steal a game. It also, you play against a combo deck, they cast a bunch of draw sevens and you can keep drawing into force is awesome. Just overall a great card and I already have Preordain to go with it. So I think I'd rather take force than spec on channel or cradle or certainly Dark Ritual. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna wheel Zernorb out of this pack. I think nothing there is really gonna come back. Oh, I could take up the Beanstalk to go with this Force of Will. I haven't drafted an up the Beanstalk deck yet. I don't really know exactly what it looks for. What else would I take? There's Venser, there's Jetmere's Garden, which is not that good with Windswept Teeth for the reason I mentioned earlier, two of the three colors overlap. There's Leovold, which actually is pretty nice with a green fetch. And then there's Trinket Mage, but I don't have anything to go with it. I know I'm not opening anything, anything good enough for that. Uh, I'm kind of curious about Leovold. Also blue cards in Force of Will is nice. If I take Leovold here, I might wheel Venser. Seems like this is an okay time to take Leo. I don't know, I do like up the Beanstalk. One, two, three, four. I don't think it's gonna wheel, but maybe if someone really wants Geddon and Yogg will, up the Beanstalk might wheel. Okay, next up. Ice Fan Quaddle fits pretty nicely with what we've got here. Though Tundra is a way, an off-ramp for Windswept Teeth, so is Scrubland, and I guess Savai Triumph, though that doesn't go super well with the Leovold. I think I just might I'd take Ice Fang. I'll just keep taking blue and green cards. There's also an Ash Barons there, but Blue-green like kind of control could be good. I, I like I like this start. I mean, nothing super powerful, but Force of Will is good against unfair decks, and having Leovold and Ice Fang as like just good good blue-green plays is pretty nice. I mean, it's going to depend a lot what what else we get see here. Oh, there's an expressive iteration. I do like that. There's regrowth and Eternal Witness, but neither of those is that appealing with what the cards we have so far. Don't love Lotus Petal in this style of deck. I could I could Iteration to go to four color edged. Iteration I think is the best card. Well, Glorybringer is also pretty good, but I'm not really in a position to take that. I'm just gonna take Iteration here. And maybe, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where we go color wise. I know we're, I know we're drafting blue and a pretty good chance of blue green. Ooh, I could Exploration here. Exploration is a way to kind of speed up your deck. There's also Beseju, which is fine. Augur Bottom, which is fine. I like Exploration. Plus, I already have Leovold, so I'm going to be looking for draw sevens to go with this Leovold if I can find them. So Exploration is also a card that's great with draw sevens. Passing up on a Blood Tithe Harvester, which I'm fairly far away from casting. 
this is this is exactly where Ketria Triumph Wheeling would be would be awesome or Xander's Lounge, but I really don't think either of those things is going to happen. You never know though. We get one new pack here. We could get an eighth pick fast bond, right? <laughs> uh, no, there's a Luris though. Luris is pretty good. That is a late Luris. There's also a Talisman, but this isn't like a super great Talisman deck. I like exploration and then just playing a bunch of lands. It's also Knight's Whisper and Terra Sunder and Leyline Binding. It does seem like we're heading towards Leyline Binding territory. I do like Terra Sunder. This is tough. I don't know which of these spells is even better for this deck. Probably Knight's Whisper. Knight's Whisper is pretty good. I do like Luris, but this isn't looking like the best Luris deck. I kind of just want to take Knight's Whisper here. I like Knight's Whisper. Creeping Tar Pit is a great wheel. Pentad Prism also I'm surprised it wheeled, but I, I think this is just looking like a great Creeping Tar Pit deck, so I'm going to take that. Okay, Ketria Trium time. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's in two picks from, or no, this is it's this pick. I think was the was the pack that had that. I love creeping tar pit. I think that it is a very strong land, and I don't know that I need to play this expressive iteration. We'll have to see. I also don't really like pentad prism and fair decks. All right, I will take blooming marsh over spike feeder though, and bone shards, because we're looking like a kind of sultai mid range deck. Maybe playing it expressive iteration. Maybe not. Oh, Fallen Shinobi did come back. All right, I've got an Ice Fang. That's great with that. I'll be on the lookout for Baleful Strix. It's expensive, but Tar Pit could enable it. And I'm also doing really well on blue count. I have, after pack one, still five blue cards. Oh, Jetmere's Garden came back. I've got to take that. Up the Beanstalk is tempting, but I think I've got to take the Jetmere's Garden. Oh, and a Savai Triumph or an Ash Baron. It's interesting. So... Savai Triumph, it makes Windswept Teeth into every color but blue. I think that's worth enough that I'll just do that over Ash Barons. And then Escape. Escape is a card I definitely consider. It's good with Exploration. I like Knight as well, but I, I really like Escape. Oh, and an Abrupt Decay. Okay. Okay, this is pretty good. This pack does have a Rogavon and a Solitude and an Undermountain Adventure. This is looking like an Undermountain Adventure deck. Getting wheeling those two triumphs was pretty huge because now this deck actually could just be a five color deck. Shame we missed out on leyline binding, but I think that's fine. Um, also, picking up a late abrupt decay was nice too. Yeah, I think I take Undermountain. I think this card's the best one. It's great with exploration. I would of course like to find if I can get a Mox or something at some point that would help too. Pass a Ragavan and a Solitude. Might wheel Fire Covenant. The, the casting cost on this is a little tough for some decks, whereas I would be glad to play it. Yeah, pass up on those. Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Atroxa. I love both those cards. As much as I love Atroxa, I'm gonna take Fable here. This deck doesn't have any ways to cheat with Atroxa and Fable is just fantastic. Passing on Rogrin Triumph, Atroxa, Dak Faden, Timeless Dragon, Miscalc. Yeah, there's some good cards in this pack. Picking up the two red Triumphs at the end made it so that this Windswept Teeth's really going a long way. Wow, there's an Urza and a Crucible and a Dryad. Lorien Revealed is also pretty interesting, though neither, neither of my charms are blue, sadly. I don't think I'm in a position to take Crucible, despite having Exploration. Really not a great Urza deck, sadly. I might honestly take Lorien Revealed. I'm going to at some point pick up a blue duel. It's almost inevitable. And Lorien Revealed pitches to force and is just a great fixing card. It's just a really strong card. Brainstorm's also nice, and I do have one fetch, and this deck will take fetches over almost everything. Huh. Which of these blue cards should I take? Well, either or any of them wheel. Well, Urza, let's say I take Lorien Revealed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to wheel. Honestly, I think this for this deck, Lorien Revealed is better. I'm just going to take it. Now I'm just going to take a fetch land. Fetch land's very strong in this sort of strategy and passing on an oracle and a lotus field but we're not really doing those things a tropical island would be a really high value land for me there's a trop wow there's also a green suns and an omnath and a hex drinker i like all of these cards maybe i just take the trop and one of these three cards will wheel not the hex drinker but let's see one two three four five 
Oh, how likely is Omnath to wheel? Yeah, I don't know how likely it is to wheel. Putting putting in a pack with three other green cards is nice. One, two, three. Yeah, there's a chance it wheels, even if it doesn't. Trop is just so important for the stack. Now there's a Raging Ravine. There's also a Prismatic Ending, which is a really nice little removal spell. Ramanop Excavator with two fetches isn't crazy, though Zernorb is gone. <sighs> Haven't seen Stripper Wasteland. Not that you see those late or anything like that. There's also Thief of Sanity, which is nice with uh, Fallen Shinobi, though honestly Thief of Sanity hitting you is good no matter what. I might just take Thief. It's great with Exploration. I have another... It's just like another powerful 3-drop to play. And if Ramanop wheels, then great. Another fetch land. Okay. I'll take that over plateau. V-click, truck crop rotation. And now another triome. Or just like a flame tongue kabu. There's also frantic search, show and tell, exhum. I'm not really into any of those things. Flame tongue kabu, I think, is just okay. But I don't I don't really need this triome. Because it doesn't really unlock any new colors, right? No. I mean, I do get to get the combination of white, black, and green, but I kind of think I'd rather just, just take a Flame Tongue Kavu. I feel like that's just going to be better for this deck. Like, all of these all of these fetch lands already get all the colors. Uh, I guess Arid Mesa doesn't get blue. Oh, there's Loam. Loam wouldn't be crazy here. I do have kind of a lot of fetches. Yeah, and it's nice with exploration. This is just an expensive card. I don't think this deck's going to feel like it needs more of those. Oh, wow. Dak and Timeless Dragon both wield. I'll take Dak, though. Dak is awesome. It's also great with Leovold. When you have Leovold in play, you can Dak them. They draw a card, and then they discard two, which is pretty cool. Mm, okay. I, I like how this deck's turning out. Force of Will's really going a long way in this deck, and I would like to find... I would like to find another, like, Force of Negation would be great. Swords to Plowshares. Like, just basically some more cheap interaction. Mana Leak would be awesome. Oh, Crucible came back. And Dryad. Also some more Creature Lands, which is nice. I, I would probably take the Restless Cottage. Actually, this looks like a pretty good Restless Cottage deck. I don't think I need Crucible. I already have Loam. Oh, Oracle too? All right, I will take Oracle over Nyssa here. Oh, Omnath and Green Sun's Wield. So Omnath is great when you can play extra lands, which Exploration helps with, and three fetches. Yeah, this is a best, messed up Omnath deck. Like, Green Sun's will be great also, but... Oh, wow. And, yeah, I think I take the Ramanop over Prismatic Ending. Okay. This this all kind of worked out nicely. This Flame Tongue, I, I'm not sure about, because it's another it's a four drop. I've kind of got a lot of those. This exploration is going a long way. All right. Ooh, there's a soul ring. All right. We open one good card. Not, you know, the, the most busted soul ring deck in the world because it's like Leovold and Omnath aren't great with it, but it's so good with Underman Adventure or Oracle or Escape the Wild. So yes, I'm not complaining. This is a Birds of Paradise, by the way. Yeah, slamming soul ring, passing Grist, Astrolabe, some good white cards, a Birds of Paradise. Yeah, I might even get something back. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, there's Ren and Six, Archon of Cruelty. Uh, an LED I can't take. That's the worst. Yeah, as much as I would love Strip Mine, I don't really need Ren and Six. Like, I've got a Ramanop and a Life from the Loam. I don't really need a third one of that effect. I kind of think I just take Fiery Confluence. That card is just messed up. And I think I'd rather just have a... I don't think a Grimonolith is going to help in this deck. It's not the worst Jace deck, but it's not like the best Jace deck either. Let's just take Fiery Confluence. We'll just mess people up with Fiery Confluence. Sorry, Flame Tongue. Flame Tongue got better with Soul Ring too, by the way. And now a blue red land to get with Lorraine Revealed would be kind of nice. I mean, this is just a couple cards under. This is looking good. This is looking good. Oh, there's Strip Mine. Oh, I didn't think I would get a third big Strip Mine. All right, well. I'll probably wheel Ren and Six. No one else will want it. And even if, even if not, I don't. I have Loam and Ramanop. Slamming Strip Mine over Bloodstained Mire and Underground Sea. But, oh, wow. This this deck just got a lot better. Okay. Now that we have Strip Mine, Force of Will, Strip Mine is such a good, like, just lock them out of ever doing anything combo. This exploration is amazing in this deck. I'm so glad I took it. And, 
Yeah, this deck is looking really, really good now. Could use a still a little more interaction, but Fiery Confluence is great. It just really can not only clean up messes, but also kill all their artifact mana, which is awesome. All right, here we've got Lotus Cobra. Don't love it, even with three fetches. It's, 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 it's okay, I might take it. Mystical Tutor doesn't do much for me. It gets a bunch of crap. Uh, I do like Days and Spell Pierce. Let's see, which of these two would I rather play? I'm going to have a Island in play a lot of the time, thanks to Lorien Revealed, Trop, and then the two fetches that get Island. I kind of want Days. Days is just a messed up card. I just think I can float the Lotus Cobra, and I'd rather have Days, I think. Yeah, I think Days is just really strong. All right. And then Marsh Flats, another fetch land. Yeah, I mean, I would just keep taking the fetch lands over Dark Confidant, Snuff Out, Reprieve. That, that's all fine. Okay, now another creature land. I'm not... This pack's a little bit less intriguing to me. I could get Gifts, because Gifts can get Strip Mine Life from the Loam. And then you just get to Dredge Loam, so, like, it doesn't matter what, what they do. Um... Hmm, interesting. Would I play Gifts in this deck? I don't really know that I would actually play Gifts in this deck, because other than getting that, it, there's nothing else it really gets. That is a good combo, but maybe I just take another Colonnade here. don't really want to put Mana Morphos in my deck. Third Path Iconoclast doesn't do much for me either. Let's just take Colonnade. Entomb. Entomb can get either Strip or Loam, which is which is pretty nice. So I guess I'm in for that, and it's also just hating a good card. All right. It basically tutors for either half of that combo, though. Is there anything else I'd want to entomb for? Not really. Utopia Sprawl, <laughs> Lumberjack. Don't really think I'm a Crater Hoof deck. Could be an Arbor Elf deck, but I guess Utopia Sprawl is better than Arbor Elf in that sense. Um, I have the Strip Mine, so it'd be just Wasteland I'd be scared of. Yeah, Utopia Sprawl is pretty good. Oh, I'll take Grist. There's also Knight of the Reliquary, which can get Loam, or, or sorry, can get Strip Mine or whatever, but honestly, Grist is just too messed up of a card. I'm just going to take the Grist. Ren and Six did, in fact, wheel. And yeah, I'll take it over Troll of Cause of Doom. Okay, now I have a few cards too many. Thinking I might cut Fallen Shinobi just because I have just the, the Ice Fang as a way to get in. Oh, Misha's Bobble came back. I didn't expect that. I think I like that. I have all these uh, shuffle effects, so it's kind of like a zero mana preordain or scry one draw card for zero mana, which is pretty nice. I think Abrupt Decay is pretty good. I mean, this is kind of like two to three cards need to get cut out of this pile because I've got, well, 38 cards, but 12 lands, so add two, right? That's four, 14 lands. But Lorien Revealed really just does count as a land. It's a blue-green land, and shame I never got a Triumph that could do otherwise. What else would I want to cut here? Not going to Ephemerate, not going to Monster Manual. I don't think I'm going to Red Black Talisman either. Yeah, I might Virtue of Loyalty in some situations. Oh, Tide Hollow Sculler is an interesting sideboard card, at least, and I don't mind passing a Corpse Dance too much. Sure, I'll take a Frexian Dragon Engine and a Micaeus the Lunark. Okay, well, Strip Mine went a long way here, and I think the Entomb is good enough because I have three ways to get back Strip Mine, and all one of those ways I can also Entomb. And we're just gonna call this Entomb Five Color. All right, let's let's take a look and see what we need to do here. Because I think I just need to cut like two cards. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, and that's without playing. Maybe Utopia Sprawl is not going to make it, because I have two green sources that aren't forests. How many forests am I going to end up playing? I don't have anything that needs a specific basic land. I don't have Sakura Tribe Elder or anything like that. I do have kind of a lot. Let's see. Take out my fetches here. <laughs> None of my fetches. 
No, half my fetches don't get blue. Kind of a shame. Um, how many fetchable lands do I have? Right now I have three, and if I added two, yeah, this, that, that's too many non-fetchable lands, which means I probably am going to have to cut at least one of these non-basics. I think Blooming Marsh, or maybe I just cut, hmm, I guess Celestial Colonnade is probably the cut here, as it turns out, and I might just cut Utopia Sprawl. I still need to add more lands. Let's see. So let's if I have two, three forests in my deck, that's three, four, five, and all these get green. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven green. Mm, that might actually be one too many. I might be able to just get away with ten. And then one island, two. Oh wait, this is I even have Lorien revealed. That's also a green. So yeah. Um one island two, three, four blue, five blue, plus trop, six blue. Mm, I think I want one more island if I can. Do I need a swamp at all? It's kind of a question. I have one fetch that gets swamp. I have one black, two, three, four, five black, six black, seven black, eight black. That feels like enough. I would certainly want a mountain, I would I would think, because I want to get, I have two red fetches that can get untapped mountain. So, and that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources. And I assume I don't need a plains. I just have Omnath and I'm casting it off these two, these two triumphs. Yeah, plus the four fetches that get them, that's six. Yeah, one more like blue, Red or blue white land would have been pretty nice. Or really, blue anything would have been nice for this Lorien revealed. Mm. Okay. Mana wise, this isn't too bad, and I need to take out one card. And do I want this Utopia Sprawl? Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I effectively have nine forests. I, ha I could cut the Blooming Marsh as well, put another forest in. And then get Utopia Sprawl in there. I then have to cut two cards, which is kind of unfortunate, but that might be fine. I could cut Escape. It's just one of my most expensive cards. I could also cut I could cut a land and just go to 15 lands plus Lorien Revealed. I don't love that. I think cutting Escape is probably fine. I'm not siding in this virtual loyalty. I don't really want to buy one. <laughs> And this also, now I only have the two tap lands plus the two triumphs. That's not too bad. And maybe I cut Abrupt Decay. I just think that card is just okay. Okay. All right, I think I like this. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue cards for force. Yeah, that is plenty. I think the days is gonna be fine in this deck. Actually, I feel like I'm gonna get I'm gonna have a tropical island and play a lot of the games. So, all right, let's see how this does. I li I like this deck. Getting the strip mine went a long way. This deck I think got a lot better once that turned up. Alrighty, time for round one. Playing against the Fragerto himself, and yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. I I do because I mean this hand has turned to uh, Knight's Whisper. I do want to think. What am I going to do with this Mishra's Bauble? So it's kind of a decision because I've got four fetch lands in the deck. So if I draw wait to draw a fetch land, then Mishra's Bauble works a lot better because it basically gets you an effect. You, you bobble yourself, and if you don't like it, you fetch away the card. But I do have a Force of Will in hand, and maybe I don't need to have Force of Will up on turn one. I'm probably going to want it up on turn two. So what I, what I think I'm going to do is go... So by Triumph Bobble, go. Hope that uh, that uh, <laughs> Gavin doesn't drop something amazing on turn one. And then turn two, I'm going to Knight's Whisper. And if I've drawn either a fetch land, I'll, I'll save the bobble. Or if I don't hit blue, I'll crack the bobble. I think that's like... that. I get to... By passing for one turn, I get to see three more cards before deciding whether to bobble or not. 
which I think is enough here. All right, so I'm going to play Savai Trium. I think I play the bauble, and I think I pass. In before, you know, Land Lotus Jace or something. No, Ketria Trium. All right, draw. Loam isn't terrible. Let's play the Knight's Whisper. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just bobble now, I think. Miscalculation. <laughs> what a good bobble. Good. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Knowing Gavin has miscalculation up is very nice. All right, let's... I think I cast Preordain. Yeah. If you want to miscalculate, you can. It does not. Expressive Iteration, Snow-Covered Forest. Bottom the forest. I'll top the iteration, because at the very least, I can pitch that to Force of Will. And play this. Cycle the Miscalc. Love it. All right. And then I'll force into either playing Leovold or Oracle or Omni. Like, I can play all of these cards. Oh, he doesn't play it. He's not playing a card. Is he discarding to hand size for reanimation purposes? No. No, he's not. Um... What do I want to cast here? Assume this might get countered. Let's just play Oracle. And I'm not going to fight over it if he if he counters it. Unless it's a mana drain. Oh, Remand. Yeah, I'm definitely not fighting over that. All right. Remand. He hit his land drop. What are you going to do with that land drop is the question. Fetch land would be the best draw. If I, if I drew a fetch land this turn... I could go red, green, white, or red, blue, white, green. I could play Omnath and then crack a fetch, and that would be awesome. Okay, no fetch land. I think I'm going to go iteration, though, because that'll help me find a fetch, and I can still make a three-mana play after. Oh, perfect. I don't need the Ren and Six. Let's put Heath in hand. Or what am I playing this turn? Actually, I kind of want to play Leovold this turn. So Marsh Flats in hand. And then six on the bottom. Exile Heath. Play Heath. Crack it. And Marsh Flats can get... Oh, Marsh Flats can't get anything anymore. Okay. It's good to know. I'll get Trop. And I'll cast Leobold here. And this is also a card that if it gets countered, it gets countered. So I guess I wanted Renin Six, not Marsh Flats in hand. Oh, he had no plays. Okay. It's kind of weird. You, you missed a land drop and discarded a bonfire. So far looking kind of like a teamer control deck. Drew a land, played it, had seven spells in hand, didn't play any on your turn, didn't play any on my turn. I'm a little confused as to what's going on. Show and tell. Um, we have a bunch of the cards that are good with show and tell. We have Archon. We have Atroxa. How bad can this be? I'm going to find out. <laughs> Put Omnath into play. Oh, Portal. Okay, Portal's not great for me. Portal's definitely not great. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's see if we, can, if we can find some action here. I thought Grist would be able to handle almost anything. But, you know what? We didn't get there. Alright, let's cast... Oracle, leaving this up. Strip mine is nice. All right, strip mine Ketria Trium. Play a land off the top, and then play Ren and Six and get back Strip Mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, Force of Negation, pitching Mystic Confluence. Okay. Let's see what he gets. Could get. Omnath or Leovold. It's going to get Omnath. Draw. Probably not going to ha be able to fetch because I have every fetch <laughs> at the table. Uh, I need to find Fiery Confluence to kill the portal, and then I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Okay. Draw. Utopia Sprawl. Oracle is getting swords. Yeah, I guess I'm going to hard cast Force here because. Swords and Oracle basically bricks my draw step. All right, play Arid Mesa. I'll crack Arid Mesa. I don't have any lands to get. All right. 
there's thief and I've already played one land. He's going to get a Leovold into play. Yeah, not forcing definitely uh, didn't work out great. Let's go Snow-Covered Island, loan back these lands. Pass the turn. You get a Leovold. Mm -hmm. And I get... What am I getting? I'm getting owned is what I'm getting. All right, I'm going to take four here. And I think I'm going to dredge the loam. Actually, there's nothing else to get back right now in terms of creatures. Let's just draw Thief of Sanity. I'll play Wooded Foothills. That's fine. Soul Rings back, huh? I don't have another black source. That's interesting. Oh, I guess I have Utopia Sprawl. So let's go Utopia Sprawl. Choose black. Cast Grist. Plus one mill that soul ring. There's Dak Faden. Oh, to steal the portal. Perfect. And play Thief. Play Restless Cottage. Strip mining here doesn't seem very good given that uh Gavin has a Leovold in play. He'll just draw a card every time I strip mine him. So let's not do that. Let's just pass. And. Okay. Land gain four. I need Gavin not to have a good play. If he doesn't have a good play in hand, I actually don't completely hate my position here. Let's block there. I could also just double block the Leovold. I kind of like that, actually. I'm under the assumption that this DAC is going to work. I'm going to lose the, the Grist. That's fine. You can actually portal back Grist, funnily enough. All right, draw. Not dredge. I'm going to hit with Thief and try to hit, find a, a counterspell. If I find a counterspell, I actually feel like I'm winning. Bladesteel Colossus and Prime Time, huh? <laughs> uh, sure, I guess I'll exile Prime Time. Land. Strip your island. Play Dak Faden. Minus Steal the Portal. And. I've played my land. I mean, I guess I can cast the Titan. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, what am I going to do? Not cast the Titan? I don't know what was all that. One, zero. Okay. I'll get Creeping Tar Pit in a snow-covered forest. And I have one forest left. All right, pass the turn. I guess he has to have, like, Fractured Identity. For this to to work out, sneak attack, but no red. Okay, I feel like we're okay here. Let's go portal. Mm, it could be dangerous still. Let's get Leovold. I have 10 cards left. Yeah, I will dredge Loam. Oh, I milled Ramen up, funny. Uh, Dak you with a Leovold in play, so you draw one and discard two. And then... I'm going to hit with Thief of Sanity. What else do I want to hit with is kind of the question. Channel and land. All right. I think hitting with Restless Cottage sounds pretty good. Or let's tap this. Okay. And get my last land, I guess. Uh, choose up to one card in the graveyard. I guess I'll get swords to plowshares. I don't know. Yeah, I'll use prime time's ability. I have days and tomb fable. I'm actually not even going to get the land in play. It doesn't do anything, I don't think. You can block the restless cottage. I don't know how, how, how much that does for you. I guess I die to Emrakul, but that's about it. Uh, ooh. 
If I hit Eladomri's call in my hand, I don't die to Emrakul anymore because I have, uh, I can Eladomri's call for Ice Fang. All right, pass the turn. What a wild game. <laughs> letting, <laughs> letting show and tell resolve. Made this game a little harder than it had to be, but you know, what can you do? Uh, yeah, he's like Teamer Oath Sneak Channel. That's that's cool. That's a cool deck. But I think I think this one is going to be tough for him to win. I'm not really doing a whole lot. Force of Will, fantastic in this matchup. Ooh, what does he have? Eternal Witness. Okay. Getting back mountain. I really didn't consider that I could have strip mined mountain. All right. Let's sneak. What do you got? Torsten. Okay. Revealing time walk. All right. Let's let's just take a quick shot while we have basically the whole deck here. Uh, Blight Steel, Light and Tutor. Is it 24? I mean, I guess it's actually going to be kind of hard to kill him with all these lands in play, but uh, this is going to die end of turn anyway. I'm at 12. I have a Tar Pit I can block with as well. Yeah, let's just block with Tar Pit, I think. Because I... I guess I'm not really loaming anymore. No, I'm not going to loam. I'm going to block there. Go to eight. Torsten dies. You get seven one ones. And draw. And then I can put, I can put in any number of awesome cards. I think I kind of want ramen up though. Let me see. What did put in hand? Taiga, Spire Bluff Canal, Odawara, Plains, and Blight Steel. So he does have a Blight Steel in hand. That's something to consider. Mm, do I have a way to kill or bounce sneak attack? I don't think so. Hold on. Let me see what's in my deck. What's left in my deck? I've got. A fiery confluence, and I, I have no way to remove sneak in play anyway. So okay, okay. This this game has just gotten weird. Um, I could put a Torsten into play. I have seven cards left, but I can just choose not to take stuff if I want. I think Torsten is gonna be better. Yeah, I'll put a Torsten into play. And. Am I worried about running out of cards? I, I guess I, I don't really want to put any of those into play. I don't want to dredge loam. <laughs> Days is kind of nice, actually. Uh, plus one on you. I'm actually going to kind of go for decking because the Thief of Sanity also hits pretty hard here. And discarded Spire Bluff Canal, sure. And Thief... And I guess I will hit with prime time because I have enough blockers. No. You can block with a bunch of stuff, but I have the portal. All right, take eight. Oh, he's his Lotus too? All right, well, I'm actually still going to take Ashen Rider, I think. Because <laughs> I'm just going to cast Ashen Rider to kill the... <laughs> the sneak attack. Uh, very funny. Exile sneak attack. And I have a food. I block three things. I go to two. Yeah, there's no reason to play a land. Pass the turn. And then next turn I can deck him. <laughs> I have a daze up. Well... What a wild game. I'm really glad I let Show and Tell resolve. This game was a lot more fun because of that. <laughs> uh, Frog's deck looks awesome. I mean, obviously having Black Lotus Time Walk is already a good start, but Force of Negation, Channel, Oath of Druids, didn't see a big Eldrazi. 
and we've seen almost everything at this point. Uh, also, miscalculation and remand with Torsten, Blightsteel, Primeval Titan, and Ashen Rider to, to sneak into play, it looks like, our Oath up. And then Eternal Witness, pretty good Oath target. Six cards in hand. We know about <clears throat> Odawara. And, but Odawara is not going to get the job done here, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, I'll draw the card. I won't loam. Yeah. You got an Ashen Rider back in hand. I block those two, I go to one. I block the two creatures that actually have power. I go to one here, and then I, I have a food token if I need it. Taiga, you gain some life. But basically the way I'm going to get this done is Dak you down to two cards. Oh, I'm actually going to Thief first. And then that puts you to one card, and then I Dak. Yeah, that seems like a good play. He does have Time Walk in his deck, but it went to the bottom, and I don't think he's shuffled yet. So, but I don't know. Torsten is is, is weird. I don't have a, enough damage. I actually want Leovold, like it's actually not bad for me if Leovold dies. Yeah, if he could play Time Walk this turn, I would lose. But he's already played a land and used blue, and Black Lotus is in the graveyard, so I don't think that's gonna happen. They're all attacking me, okay. I go to three. I'm not cracking that end of turn. And then this is gonna put, I guess, Ramanop into play. And not gonna dredge loam. Play strip mine, strip mine island. Attack with Thief. Does this have Vigilance? No. Just attack with Thief, I think. Whew, what a game. All right, well, we, that, was, that, was, that was a slugfest. That was good. Okay. Just updating the team. I don't want Flame Tongue. How many targets does Windswept Teeth have in this deck? Or Marsh Flats? Marsh Flats has... Savai so Triumph, Jetmir's Garden. Oh, it just has two. I should play a Swamp in this deck. I feel like that's actually going to be good. Um, and what do I not like in this matchup? Don't like the fact that he's got a sneak attack. That's pretty good. I think Dak is good. Do I want... All these creatures. I guess Fiery Confluence. No, I need that because it kills a uh, portal. Is there any cutting of Entombs? I feel like Entombs pretty good. Maybe I just cut one of my lands. Maybe I go to one island. How many blue sources do I have? One. No, no, no. Oh, none of those are blue. Two, three, four, five, six. Lord revealed seven. Yeah, I don't really want to go down on blue. Hmm. Hmm. How do I? I guess I have to cut a forest then. Yeah. All right. I didn't really see anything. I guess maybe I could. Actually, you know what? If we go to game three, I should put Fallen Shinobi in. I just realized like he doesn't have very many creatures. Almost any creature I play is just going to get through. Like, and Fallen Shinobi could be great. Um. Uh, all right, well, keep this hand. Turn two, Knight's Whisper again. The swamp's looking a little worse than forest in this particular draw. Mm, play this. Okay. Island. This is the same start as last time. I have to discard here. If he counters it well. Or rather, I would have to discard if it resolves. Him countering it was fine. Hopefully no, uh, hmm, okay. Well, let's just go Thief. That's the hardest hitting one. 
then I've got Grist coming soon. Drawing Strip Mine would be awesome, as always. And so would Drawing and Tomb here, actually. Next turn. Thirst in response, okay. Thirst, let's see what what he's discarding. Discarding a snow covered island. Alright, so it did discard a land. Show and tell would be bad. Oath could potentially be bad. It would kind of depend. Yeah. Show and tell it up. I guess I put I kind of just want to put a land into play, actually. Portal? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't put anything else into play. I guess I, a Grist would have been fine too. Oh, I guess I'll play Iteration here. Dac? Any Dax? Ho oh, ho ho. I can't cast Dac this turn, but I'll definitely put Dac in hand. Put Restless Cottage on the bottom, play in Tomb. In Tomb, Strip Mine, Land, Lone Back, Strip Mine. And hopefully, I wouldn't have minded if he Force of Negation that, honestly. Okay, so Thief is getting stolen. Hmm, no plays. All right. Time walking? That would be unfortunate. Maybe cycling Miss Calico, though I don't think that's very likely. Yeah, time walk. All right. Well, it's going to kind of come to down to whether he's got Force of Negation. Because if he does, then he can counter the DAC and I'm screwed. If he doesn't, then I can DAC the portal. He might even drop a creature into the graveyard thanks to Thief of Sanity. He didn't two lands. Interesting. Okay, well. Show and tell into time walk is a tough sequence. Let's see if I can get there. Is this eternal witness for time walk? Oh, don't have a land, please. Okay, didn't have a land. Do I want to dredge loam? I think I do. Um, no, I don't, I don't. I'm just going to draw. And... I think I Knight's Whisper, because if I if I find Force of Will here, then I can uh, have for Dak with Force backup. Didn't find that. Strip Ketria Trium. Dak. Steal the portal. Okay. So now he does get to hit me with Thief Time Walk. But if he mills a creature, then I get to portal it. So he's got to kind of watch out for that. And he uh, didn't play a land last turn. So next turn, hopefully he doesn't have a good play. I can also grist into... I guess I could grist minus... I don't know, Dak's probably going down here. Yeah, and then Thief's hitting me. And I'm getting... Hit Daze and Windswept Teeth. I would have took two cards he didn't want. Really glad Thief can't hit lands. That certainly makes things a little easier. I uh, hit my Soul Ring. I don't like that. Damn. Okay, well, he has Time Walk. I mean, this is going to be close. It's kind of going to depend on what he gets to do this turn. The deck that, he, that Gavin has does have a lot of bricks in it, so I'm hoping... We see one of those. Milled Creeping Tar Pit Island, and who knows? Hitting the Soul Ring was brutal. That card is obviously very, very strong. And it couldn't even be with a creature, so the portal is not popping off right now. But next turn, I'm going to go Ramanop, Strip Mine Your Land, play Grist, sack Ramanop to Grist, kill your Thief of Sanity, and then go from there. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening, but that is a decent start. What's it like having Time Walk and Lotus, huh? <laughs> Must be nice. Um, yeah, I guess it would have worked out better to put Grist into play other than land. I don't know. Is he just going to cast Sneak here? Sneak Go? Yeah. If it's Sneak Go, no land, I don't hate that. Because then 
strip mining the mountain. No land, no land, no land, no spire bluff canal, nothing. Okay, let's just draw. Cast Romanop. Oh, I don't have enough mana to do everything I want to do. Right. One mana short. So I still think I do go strip your mountain, though. And I think I just pass. I get hit by Thief one more time, which I don't like, but I think I got to do what I got to do here. I just can't let the sneak hit me. I feel like I'll just straight up lose if that happens. All right, I go to eight. Hits with Thief again. Still has to exile any creatures he finds. And if I draw a Fiery Confluence and can kill Sol Ring and both creatures... Oh, we binned Omnath. Okay. I guess that means he found Fiery Confluence is going to kill the portal, is my assumption here. No, he just... Oh, I guess he just hit two creatures. Oh, Undermount Adventure gets a mountain, which he just then doesn't play to keep the sneak live. Yeah. But I'm going to have Omnath plus Marsh Flats still has... No, Jetmere's Garden is gone, so Marsh Flats actually doesn't... Oh, I, I can just play a different one for my graveyard, though, of course. Okay. This is going to be an interesting game. The, both these games have been pretty wild. So now I'm going to get to put Omnath into play. Oh, we got Island. Interesting. He's going to play a tap Temple Garden. Okay. Portal. Omnath. I'm not dredging loam, no. Draw. Not dredging loam. Okay, okay, okay. Oracle of Moldaya is kind of interesting because it adds a lot of mana and gives me a creature to sacrifice to Grist to kill. I guess I can't. Oh man, I really want to kill that Thief of Sanity, but I'm at eight cards. Maybe I just have to kill Undermount Adventure. Well, you know what? I can maybe let him... Maybe I let Gavin get one more turn of... Yeah, probably one more turn of Undermount and Adventuring. It's okay. Oracle. Strip Mine. Gain four life. Kill Temple Garden. Strip Mine. Add a bunch of mana. Kill Island. Grist. And gonna minus Grist here. Can't force a negation me. He's good. He's almost assuredly got that in hand. Sack a creature. I guess I will sack Oracle. Kill Thief of Sanity. And pass the turn. Okay, he gets to venture into the Undercity. I don't care too much about that. Puts two counters on something. I can just chump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In before he just goes Lotus Sneak through things. Yeah, that could happen. Uh, what do I have to get rid of Sneak? What did I do last turn? Oh, I Ashen Rider off his board. Okay. That's not super likely. All right, Undermountain Adventure is ginormous. Island, Primeval Titan, okay. An additional challenge level of me not being able to use a spell to finish the game. Huh. <laughs> All right, well, I think I still get Oracle here. Mm, I will not dredge loam. Uh, I guess I can plus one and mill Fable. Oh, fiery Confluence, okay. Let's go Strip Mine. Strip your Taiga. Strip Mine, add a bunch of mana. Strip your Spire Bluff Canal. Mm, Utopia Sprawl, that. I guess I'll name Red. 
Ren and six. Paying a green. Minus one Nug Eternal Witness. And I could cast Lorien Revealed to draw three cards. I don't think I want to do that, though. I think I'm going to eventually draw most of the cards in my deck at this point anyway, so might as well wait. I lose five life here. I don't really care about that. I'm going to need to take back the Monarchy soon. But I could do it in two turns, and I think it would be okay still. I don't know what is still face down. I would love to find Force of Will. I kind of suspect that Gavin has exiled it to Thief, but I don't know. If he taps out, I might Eternal Witness back days. I'm probably going to get Eternal Witness back with Portal here. Because nothing in my graveyard besides days is all that exciting. I could get back Dak Faden to steal the Soul Ring. I don't know how much that matters. Primetime attacks, I'll block it with like Omnath and Ramanop. And then block Undermountain with Insect Token. Because then next turn, I'm going to Grist away the Undermountain. Take back the Monarchy. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, Ice Fang was one of the cards. That's fine. That gives me something I can kill with Grist. <laughs> the whole game of keep Gavin off red mana. All right. So far, it's worked. Green Sun Zenith? No. Bribery. Okay. It reshuffles me. I don't even know if I have a creature left. Uh, Leovold, I guess, is the creature I have left. Mm-hmm. And do you attack with the prime time? I guess not. <laughs> this portal's doing work for me. Mm. I'm going to get to ping the Ice Fang. He's going to get to draw... So we're down to one card that's that's exiled to Thief, by the way. Okay, we are sending with the prime time. That's fine. And how many red sources do you have left? <laughs> Is kind of the question. None. Okay. Uh, I, I could actually just take it. I kind of think I do. It's going at me. Yeah, all right. I go to five. That's fine. Draw. Portal can either get back Thief or Eternal Witness. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I get back Witness. And I think I Witness back Days. It's a little weak, but... I feel like it's it's worth doing. All right, Bobble, I have four cards left. He's going to get to Leovold some. How much do I care about this rampant Leovolding? It's kind of my question. I can't draw an extra card with period where Leovold is in play. I'm at five, but I'm really at nine. Maybe I, Maybe I do just sack this. Kill Leovold. Yeah, you draw a card. <clears throat> I guess you could choose not to draw a card, but I don't think that's super likely. Okay. Preordain. Put Mishra's Bobble on the bottom, Erd Mesa on the bottom. Draw. Draw Fiery Confluence. Okay. I mean, Fiery Confluence doesn't kill too much, but this kills the Ice Fang. And then I get to play Strip Mine. Gain four life. Attack. And do I want to leave back blockers? I'm at nine. Am I going to play any other blockers? I guess I'm not playing any other blockers this turn. Let's leave back the Oracle just in case I need another blocker. You go to six here. And my deck is Arid Mesa Exploration and <laughs> Bobble. All right. Uh, I guess I'll strip mine the blue. Play strip mine. 
and strip mine the blue. And fiery confluence, destroy target artifact, deals damage to each opponent. All right. And you take four, you're at nine, and I can daze you as you're tapped out this turn. So Force of Will is the card that Gavin has exiled to Thief. And that's fine. And then now, next turn, because I'm drawing Exploration, Okay, he's gonna force, and I'm gonna daze the force. This is right, right, yeah. Okay. I pass the turn. Exploration means Omnath will actually deal four damage as well. So I've got lethal in a bunch of ways. I just hope he doesn't have another red source this turn, because I probably do, do die to sneaking something in. Strip mine a lot of lands this game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. <laughs> All right, that's not a that's not a red source. You can hit me down to three and draw a card off archives, off the Titan. I'll chump the Undermountain, but then if you kill the Eternal Witness, I'll portal back Eternal Witness, and get back Fiery Confluence. He does have Force of Negation in deck. So he's not getting red sources because I was just going to strip mine them. He might get red sources now. I don't know. All right, block. I guess I'll go to three here. And then he goes to archives and draws a card. I don't really have anything that does anything. I guess maybe I should, maybe instead of the second strip mine last turn, I, I just play the restless cottage. I'm not sure. This has been a wild match, though. And... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to three here. Next turn, I'm attacking with these three. And I'm probably just going to get back Fiery Confluence. I could also get back Grist. Oh, what is this? Swords to Plowshares? On Eternal Witness. All right. Sure. <laughs> I guess he didn't like that anymore. All right, draw a card. That's fine. I still have to watch out for Force of Negation. Is this Arkham's Astrolabe? No, Oath of Druids. That doesn't matter. All right, I think I'm going to win here, barring something odd. Um... I am going to get back Grist, not Dredge. Let's go Exploration, Strip Mine, Razor Verge, Restless Cottage, Add Mana, Strip Mine, Take Four, Animate Restless Cottage, Minus Grist. Sack this to kill the Undermountain Adventure. Ping you for one. And then attack with these for lethal. Whew. What a match. That was a good one. That was a good one. And uh, feels good to beat Lotus Time Walk. That, that's for damn sure. Yeah, Portal to Frexia, putting in the work. <laughs> This would have been a hard match to finish in three games for anyway at this point. But uh, yeah, this was this was great. All right. One round one. Grab something to drink. Then on to round two. All righty. Time for round two. We're playing against uh, Luris Companion, like Red Black Breach with like Lion's Eye and Tendrils and stuff. Very cool. Oh, this hand's less cool. I'm going to mulligan this. Yeah, no, I guess I'm mulligan. Okay, I'll keep this. I'll put Fiery Confluence back. And I think I just put back Snow-Covered Island. 
I think I keep loam, especially if I draw one strip mine. Come on, strip mine. All I needed to hit there was a fetch land and then this loam kind of pops off. That library is really annoying though. Yeah. Strip mine would still be good. Um, this doesn't get anything too exciting. I think I'm gonna loam for zero and then just dredge loam next turn. It just, finding red or strip mine would both be great. So I think that that's what I wanna do, but obviously I mold to five in my opponent's library. This, is <laughs> this isn't good. Hopefully they discard this turn, just don't have a play. Seems less likely. Yeah, that's not gonna be good for me. Right, dredge. I hit a snow-covered forest and two good cards. Get back that, play creeping tar pit. I probably won't dredge this turn because now I have four mana, I can just play Oracle. I think I'd rather just do that. Hmm. Wow. It's okay, Dan. Just have a great start this game. Then the games where I don't mold a five, I'll have the great starts. Because, I mean, library into a talisman, into a ponder, like this is all just going very poorly for me. Currency converter, huh? Sure. It's a blood tithe harvester. What a beat. No, it's not going to be good for me. Or something. Who knows? But yeah, next turn, I think I'll just draw for my turn, cast Oracle, hope uh, hope my top card's a land, and then from there, maybe cast Lorien Revealed. And, no, this looks like a Pentad Prism. Sure. Oh, all right. I mean, land? Land on top would be very, very nice. Oh, strip mine. All right. Strip your library. All right, and then I have Exploration in hand. We we could be making a comeback here. I mean, don't call it a comeback, but... They, I mean, the Pentad Prism and the Talisman are problematic. I need to find that Fiery Confluence I put back because Strip Mine Exploration Loam is going to do a pretty good job of chewing up Dan's Lance. <laughs> Ancestral? Well, I beat better cards than Ancestral last match, but yeah, it's kind of rough playing against uh, people on much stronger card than I have. I've got to I've got to do a lot of work with this one strip mine here. Mystical tutor for beseech the mirror. Yikes. Okay. I know my top card's a mountain, so definitely dredging loam here. You know, if Dan can't kill the oracle then and I can go I guess I can't double strip mine next turn unfortunately. But one strip mine is going to be good. Oh, am I just dying this turn? I guess maybe I am. That's three spells already. So Beseech is on top, but you can use Currency Converter to get it, or you can play Breach. Play Breach, play Ancestral. Oh, I'm super dead. I assume if I'm getting Chain Lightning, I'm dead here. Mm-hmm. Yogwill, Ritual, Chain Lightning. Oh, you can just Ancestral, Beseech is already enough for Tendrils. Yeah, I mean, go for it. That's cool. I mean, I didn't feel like I was too close to winning this game. I was a, I was a, a turn away from having the first good turn of the game, where I, well, I guess Oracle and a Strip Mine's not bad, but where I go like Dredge Loam, Cast Exploration, Loam back, strip mine, mountain in another land, you know, cast iteration, cast, you know, strip mine you, all that stuff. Oh, was that a Gitaxian probe? Yeah. And then tendrils. All right. Uh, well, given that, I wonder if Sculler and Fallen Shinobi are good. I kind of wanted Fallen Shinobi against Frog after further consideration. And I do want a swamp in here. 
And I want to cut, I don't really want to cut Ice Fang when I'm bringing in Fallen Shinobi, but I don't know what else I could cut here. I could cut in Tomb. Maybe that's a little too slow. I mean, Skuller does seem solid. I like Days. I could also cut Utopia Sprawl. It's kind of awkward in this deck. All right. Let's go like this. I, I don't think I want to cut Fiery Confluence. No. No, this seems solid. All right. Let's see how this goes. We've got some good outs to Shinobi. Force of Will goes a long way. You, Force of Will and like a key Yogg Will or Beseech or something can be really good. Um, yeah, I don't think I want Celestial Colonnade. Kind of want to not mold a five, I guess. <laughs> okay. I really hope we win this draft because that match against Frog was like epic. So I, winning, the, winning that match and then losing the draft would be a bummer. But we're two and two right now to keep you updated. We went two and two in round one, though I'm now down a game. So I guess we're slightly, slightly down. Yeah. A good hand with Force of Will would be uh, a good way to get this going. Obviously, a strip Life from the Loam hand could be great. I like this deck. I think this deck is very good. One day, I'll open on Soul Ring or Exploration. I haven't done that yet. Opening on one of those two would be would be fantastic. There's also Abrupt Decay, which kills Luris, but... I don't know. I I don't love the card. I have DAC and Fiery Confluence to steal to steal or kill artifacts. I guess the Luris is I just don't have a great answer to besides Fiery Confluence. Maybe Abrupt Decay is good. I'd have to cut a creature. I could cut Days, I guess. I don't really want to do that either though. Alright. I'm on the play. Gotta wait for them to companion Luris. Turn two under Mountain Adventure, off the turn one soaring. Yeah. Any anyone? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oh, this hand's gonna lose so badly to library. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, that's not a library. All right. Oh, that is a strip mine. Let's. Let's wait on the strip mine. Let's go land, go. I can daze a two drop here. No, no two drop. All right, draw. Oh, let's go strip mine on your island. This way you can't even mystical for uh, ancestral. Loam strip mine. Swamp. I'm ready to daze you. Uh, do I want to dredge loam? What am I going to do this turn? The question is, am I going to just go loam strip mine again? Am I just going to keep doing that? Or, because I kind of want to get to ramen up, so I don't think I'm going to daze. I think I'm going to play strip mine and play ramen up here. And then pass. I can daze if Dan has a way to kill it. Didn't play anything on two, so I kind of assume he doesn't have something. He's not going to go. Well, he now sees the days, but he isn't going to go like land number three, play a two drop. Obviously, that could happen now that you see Gitax, you've used Gitaxian probe. But I feel like if you didn't have anything to play on two, having days up should buy me another turn here. Because not much has changed. You're effectively still on two mana this turn because Days punishes any three mana play. But I guess we'll see. If you can kill Ramanop for two mana, all right. That's fine. Now. Yeah, now I am going to dredge Loam. Kill your swamp. Loam back three lands. Kill your swamp. All right. Now we're. Now I think we're fine. I mean, we were probably fine either way, but now we're really fine. 
So do I daze a pentad prism? Underworld breach? Yeah, I guess I daze it. I don't really... It's kind of weird, though. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm not going to dredge loam. I'm going to play this so I can play Ice Fang. I need to find Force of Will. That's what I need to find. The problem with not countering the Breach is like, what ends up happening if if he just plays Lion's Eye? But if he had Lion's Eye, I guess he would have played it first. I don't know. Feels like not dazing Breach is like one of those things that could go really wrong. I still have Ice Fang into a Force of Will with a Fallen Shinobi ready at some point here. Would kill to have drawn Exploration or Soul Ring this game. I still feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Like the Loam Strip Mine combo is very good. But Dan has played a lot of lands. I mean, he's drawn six lands, so still has three in play. So he did have the LED, so why didn't you play it first to play around days? I mean, I'm not going to counter LED here. That doesn't make any sense. All right, discarding Beseech, Mind Twist, K Command. Putting Luris into hand. And then playing Luris. All right, I guess I'll Ice Fang in response. If I find Force of Will, the game's over. <laughs> no, best I can do is a Jet Mirror's Garden. All right, you play LED. You can do Breach. I guess I just draw for turn. A little late Soul Ring. Um, well, I guess what I'm going to do is, since I drew Soul Ring, it's still pretty good. I'm going to hit with uh, Fallen Shinobi, and we'll see if that find something good. All right, some way to kill Luris maybe? Lotus Field Mountain. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So you can cast Breach. What can you do after that? You have four, seven mana. Yeah, I mean, I don't have anything, so. You can't, if, let's say if Dan draws a land, he could Tendrils twice. Right? Oh, he did draw a land, but he discarded it to Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. You can play one, two, three cards out of your graveyard, basically. I think just playing the land actually would have been better, because then you play a land, you play Breach, you sack LED, you replay LED, you have Tendrils for six, Tendrils for eight. No, I guess that's not quite lethal. You can, with Yogwill in deck, you can breach. Mm -hmm. So you breach back LED, sure. You can beseech. Oh, you can beseech sacking the breach. So currently it's breach, LED are the two spells having been played. And then Replay Beseech, Sacking Breach, Sack LED for three, Yogg Will, six, and you played LED, 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 Breach, Beseech, Yogg Will, Chain Lightning. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Dan can win here. Really, the only thing I could have done differently, I think, is not, oh wait, we Beseeched Sacking Lion's Eye? If you have Brain Freeze also, that also works, I guess. If you have it all. Um, I could have not dazed the Underworld Breach. I don't know if that would have worked out better. Beseeching for Ancestral? I think I think you just had the kill. I could be wrong. I, I wasn't like super diligent about it. But now you're not going to be able to play a Lion's Eye and Tendrils here very easily, right? Well, let's say you drew a land. You play a Lion's Eye, exile those three. Well, then you sack it, discard the other two cards, play Tendrils, and you've played... I don't know how many spells this is, but... 
Insert stroll storm count five. Be storm count six. That's fifteen damage. That's not enough. Oh, you drew Yogwill off of this. Okay, Yogwill. But that's not enough. Yogwill doesn't do anything for you. I don't think. Because you have to exile Xander's Lounge, Gitaxian Probe, Manamorphose, leaving Lion's Eye Tendrils. It's just not a win. All right, well, I think Dan could have won this game. I think instead of getting Ancestral, you I think the key is that you Beseech, because Beseech has Bargain, which lets you sack enchantments. You Beseech Sacking Breach, because you no longer need it, because you're getting Yogwell. You have three floating from Lion's Eye. You cast Yogwell, you have six floating from Lion's Eye now. And then you can uh, Tendrils. And I think that's enough, but again, I didn't fully do the math. I think Dan has now backed himself into a bit of a corner where this is no longer lethal because he didn't draw an untapped land. That was that would have been more of a problem because now you can you can do this. I guess if you probe and find uh, oh yeah, ancestraled. Okay, what did he do? Oh, he just he just undid he just undid the LED. Okay, <laughs> which you can do. All right, LED. Wait, why did the Ancestral get exiled? I, I guess I don't understand. I'm confused now. Why did this get exiled? Oh, he exiled Chain Landing Ancestral and Beseech to cast Lion's Eye. Okay. I'm kind of actually having fun here. I can't do anything here. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, you you yog willed. <laughs> you have three mana. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, on second thought, I should have abrupt decay in my deck. <laughs> uh. Because not only did it kill Lurus, which I'm going to face every game, also Abrupt Decay can kill Breach, which can be really good because you can kill Breach in the middle of that and then the Breach goes away and they can't do their combo stuff. Mm, what do I want to cut, though? I still like Days. I could see cutting Sculler because it's a little hard to cast. And yeah, I don't know. He's got Chain Lightning and K Command, so it's not like it's a reliable source anyway. All right. Can I get a force of will? Would be nice. Wouldn't mind exploration either. Um, <laughs> would rather have Sculler here. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I guess I keep. I don't think I'm supposed to mulligan this. I don't know. It doesn't have Force of Will, it doesn't have Soul Ring, it doesn't have Exploration. Those are like the three cards I want to see most in my opening hand. But I'm on the draw with Abrupt Decay and Knight's Whisper, plus Omnath is a pretty good play. I might Abrupt Decay that. Let's see. I'm getting Savai Triome, and then this gets Trop, I think is, is how I want to do it. DRC, huh? I don't like this spot at all. I think I will abrupt decay the talisman though. Playing Knight's Whisper then discarding doesn't seem super fantastic. All right, that's that is all his red mana. I mean, he does get to Luris here if all else fails. Imperial Seal. I do have a curve here of Grist into Fallen Shinobi, which is nice. Especially if he's going to get an Ancestral here. Force of Will would be a re really good draw. Oh, close. Close. Uh, yeah, let's go Grist. Mm 
Okay, Ancestral Recall. Well, Dragon's Rage Channel is now going to go to the skies, which opens the door for a fallen shinobi. So I guess I hope Dan doesn't have too sick of a play this turn. Okay, well, let's fall in Shinobi this turn and see what's up. Oh, Leovold's cool too. Um, I mean, I guess I'll attack with this. And If Dan blocks, I'm also happy with that. I mean, he knows about Fallen Shinobi. He got hit last game by it, so it's probably on his mind. Blocking's not unreasonable, given that it really isn't. Okay, didn't block. This seems, I, it seems like the highest value play I can do. All right. Let's get some action. K Command Mystical Tutor. All right, I do like that. So let's plus one this, because I don't want a mystical before doing that. Let's go K Command. Target player discards a card, deals two damage to any target. You discard a card, shock your Bob. And then I'm going to Mystical Tutor for Force of Will here. Then I'll have Force of Will up next turn. Sadly, not this turn, but still better than nothing. All right, get Force of Will, pass the turn. You got one turn to to win the game, which certainly the Dark Ritual, Yawgmoth's Will, Lion's Eye Diamond, Tendril's deck is capable of doing. But if you don't win the game this turn, then I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. Metamorphos, keeping your top card. I don't love that. Yeah, if this is just Breach and I die, then I was a turn short. As things currently stand, the Dragon's Rage Channeler has to go kill the Grist. Well, it could attack me, but it's going to kill the Grist. But then I get to hit back with Fallen Shinobi, and next turn I have Force of Will up. All right, there's Breach. That's probably enough to win the game. Um, Because you can just... Imperial Seal for Lion's Eye and then Ancestral. Or you already have Lion's Eye. I guess we'll find out. If you don't have Lion's Eye... Well, Metamorphos means you actually do get to keep going. Damn, Dan's deck is sick. The The fact that I came close to winning was, was good, but... Well, I shouldn't have won last game. <laughs> I, I'm not going to win this game either. I mean... This is just turn five going off. Man, I needed to find uh, I needed to find Force of Will. Okay, there's Dark Ritual. And it's pretty easy to, to win from here, I think. Yog Will. Five Yeah, because now you just go Yog Will. Uh, ritual. Imperial Seal, Manamorphos. And that's that's going to be enough, because that's Ritual 7, Imperial Seal's 8, Manamorphos is 9, Tendrils is 10. Ah, oh, shame. Yeah, I needed the Fallen Shinobi to hit even harder. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already have the Tendrils, sure. That also works. Storm count eight. Storm count nine. Tendrils for ten. Yeah, had I had the force for uh, the breach, that would have been a little better. Okay. Just yeah, come on. What make with the tendrils? <laughs> I know you've got it, but. All right, there we go. All right, one and one. Let's get on to round three. All righty, welcome to round three. And oh, this is the nuts on the play. I have a Force of Will for Slurp's first play. Slurp's on blue-green elves, so please lead on a one toughness elf. Uh, actually, that's fine, too. Turn two, Ren and six. Oh, I even have a Utopia Sprawl, but I can't use it this turn because I'm just going to get Snow-Covered Mountain. Dub six, plus one, Arid Mesa. So I actually think if Slurp plays a one toughness elf, I'm just gonna let that resolve. Okay. 
Entomb. Kind of counterspell or bust here. All right, I will get Entomb, Strip Mine. Plus one on Strip Mine. And I have Force Backup. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. Let's kill your green. And uh, good luck. <laughs> I get to Strip Mine every turn. This Utopia Sprawl, I think, should probably not be in my deck, if I had to guess, but we'll see. Plus one, get back Strip Mine. Strip Mine. Strip Mine your forest. Pass the turn. I don't think I want to loam back the Strip Mine. It doesn't really help to do that. Oh, no plays. This is not going to last long. Strip mine, strip mine that, and pass. I guess I'll discard the loam. And wow, we got a trooper on our hands. All right, I'm not gonna do that. All right, I guess I'll play Soaring, Ramanop. All right, yeah. Okay, playing against some elves. Now, finally, the flame tongue comes in. Topia Sprawl gets out. Days might actually not be that good either. I need to cut a land. I think I cut a forest, and I think I put in Abrupt Decay. Okay, just on a little bit more removal. I do have to watch out for Reclamation Sage on my Soul Ring, but that's okay. And, I mean, just the turn two Ren and Six with Entomb Strip Mine, with a uh, force of will backup, that was nice. Oh man, I have fiery confluence too. I have a lot of ways to blow up uh, Slurp's mana dorks, which I think is good. The one card that I really got to worry about is Nissa World Waker. I don't really have a good answer to that. The five mana Nissa, so I'll try to force a will that, or just kill all the dorks so we don't get to five mana. Yeah, really, really got uh, paid off for playing in Tomb. Let's see if the next game goes quite as smoothly. All right, on the draw here. Um, I'm certainly keeping this hand. Let's see, Hex Drinker. Okay, that's a little annoying. Let's go Restless Cottage. I don't think leading on Strip Mine is gonna be good here. Unfortunately, Marsh Flats doesn't get blue, so I can't quaddle. I really would like to draw a blue source this turn. There we go, because now I'm going to pass, and I'm going to go Ice Fang, not to block Hex Drinker, though unless, if he doesn't pump it before he attacks, then I will block Hex Drinker. Oko, sure. Oh, this is, this is pretty nice. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's play Ice Fang. Yeah, and I think I'll just block. Take my two for one immediately here. I could have instead taken it and then minus Grist to kill that, but I think I'm better off going Mountain, play Grist here, plus one. And then next turn, Oko's gonna make an idiot, and that's fine. I'll just let that hit my Grist. Force of Will would be an amazing draw here, because I really want this turn not to be awesome. Oh, okay. Well, this still isn't so bad. So that kills my token. Garrick gets big. This hits my uh, Grist, but I can now play... Mm, not quite there. All right, play this. And I guess I actually will just play the strip mine, I think. And then I'll play Under Mountain Adventure. And now I have two blockers. Um, don't want to get Swamp. No, Marsh Flat. I want to leave Swamp for Marsh Flats. So let's just get a forest here. <clears throat> I can also DAC uh, food if, if that gets made off Oko. I have the potential to grist down Oko as well. I have to lose the grist, but that might be okay. 
Garrick is a little annoying. But this looks pretty good. Again, if that Doc Faden was a force of will and I could just force the play this turn, I would feel very good about this position. But I still feel like I'm in a pretty good spot here. It is annoying that Garrick makes Death Touchers, because that means the Undermount Adventure can't attack easily. It's also possible you go Oko minus five, switch food token and Undermount Adventure. But that still doesn't really give you a good attack. Next turn. I mean, I have a lot of mana. If the Undermountain survives, I have a lot of mana. I can lead on Iteration. I can lead on Knight's Whisper. I might go Knight's Whisper plus Dak. Dak is not actually that good of a play here because Dak doesn't affect the board. I mean, if, if Slurp taps out for an artifact creature, sure, then I can Dak Faden it. But for the most part, I'm hoping to draw something that affects the board a little bit more. Omnath wouldn't quite be a great draw. Oh, we're going to do Delighted Halfling. Oh, we're sacking it. Okay. We're sacking it to Garrick. Interesting line. What are we getting with that? True Name Nemesis? Oh, a Tireless Tracker. Oh. Okay, that... I'm totally fine with that. And now you're going to Oko the Clue token? Oh, no, you're going to swap the Clue with the Undermountain. Okay. Yeah, that's a good play. Oko goes to two. Yeah, and then I have to chump the food token. Because mm, it's, well, I'm going to chump it, I think, either no matter where it attacks. Whether it attacks me or Grist. But this leaves me now pretty far behind. So what I need is, I guess Fiery Confluence wouldn't quite do it. Mm. Attack and Grist, yeah, I'll block. All right, I guess I don't really have anywhere to put the counter, so I should have to go to the Lost Well and Scry 2. Very Confluence, interesting. I'm going to keep Fiery Confluence, even though I can't cast it this turn. The Marsh Flats, oh, I guess I can't get Jetmere's Garden. It's okay, I'll find a way. Uh... Let's start with Expressive Iteration. Leopold in hand, Exile Arid Mesa, plus one Grist. Hmm, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty dead here, actually. Knight's Whisper, Arid Mesa, get Savai Trium, discard Marsh Flats. All right, well, Yeah, Oko plus Garrick is pretty good. Really, this was just a fast game where he went one drop, three drop, four drop. I went two drop, three drop, four drop. And he, him being on the play meant that it ended up uh, snowballing too much in the other direction. That being said, we'll see how this turns out. Don't think I'm going to win. But I do have some outs here. If I lose this, we go to game three. Oh, no. <laughs> Treachery was going to be bad, even if it's on just the insect token. The funny thing is, if not for Undermount Adventure, I could actually Fiery Confluence to wipe the board, though I would still have to deal with two Planeswalkers, and I would have to deal with the fact that he's got the initiative. In fact, I think I'm just dead here. That's going to be enough. I don't, I don't think there's something I can draw that... Creeping tar pits back. All right. Um, do I like Fallen Shinobi, by the way? Fallen Shinobi is kind of nice. I have Abrupt Decay. No, no, I like, I like where I'm at. Unless I maybe want days on the play, but I don't see something I really want to take out. I could take out Entomb and Life from the Loam. It's possible that that is too slow, but I don't know. All right, I'm on the play. Uh, yeah. Guess I'm glad I have Entomb in the deck. All right, let's lead on Savai Trium. This isn't the best hand, but Omnath is good, especially if I can avoid using a fetch. 
Really didn't want to see that on turn one. All right, I am going to strip mine the forest just because I've got nothing to do. <sighs> Need to find... If I, have an, if I can find Abrupt Decay, I'll be pretty happy. Knight's Whisper would be excellent. Hmm, might not be able to play any dorks. All right. Halfling doesn't cast all those things. Oh, Knight's Whisper is great. All right, let's... I'm going to want Forest anyway, so I'm going to crack this. Get Trop. And then Knight's Whisper. Oh, drawing a land off that was not great. Horizon Canopy. So we drew a green, but it wasn't like an ideal green, maybe. Unfortunately, if this is an Oko, I can't counter it. Oh, I can counter it. He didn't... All right. He didn't make it uncounterable. All right. And the, <laughs> that's that's your... <laughs> however you want to run it. Uh, ooh, now I can play a Leovold. All right. And then next turn I can play Oracle, and I think that's a pretty good... Drawing Leo to bridge the gap this turn was awesome. Let's see what I end up doing next turn here. Look, if you choose not to use the abilities of your cards, I'm not. That, that, that's, that's on you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, if, it's kind of like the whole play it where it lies thing, you know, maybe... I don't know. You, you, you misclick on the wrong thing. You misclick on the wrong thing. I've had that happen before. All right. Green Suns for a Devoted Druid. Fiery Confluence would be such a good draw here. I would also accept Red and Six. Mm -hmm. All right. Red and Six is not bad. So let's go... Red and Six... Plus one on strip mine. Strip mine horizon canopy. Pass, I think. Oh, maybe I should attack there. I don't know. I guess maybe I should have killed the island because he has double green off devoted druid already. But he has, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I guess the, the halfling does tap for blue, but. All right. Devoted druid, untap devoted druid. So now I can run in six ping the devoted druid if. If it comes down to it. Oh, am I getting Urzid? Oh, the one rings. All right. Well, you can't draw extra cards because of Leo. So that's not too bad. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's what Leovold does. So now, now I'm actually gonna get to do a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Let's start with Oracle probably. Unless I draw something better. Mm. Is Fable better? I don't even think Fable's better than playing Oracle here. I'll play Oracle. Let's see what my top card is. Soul Ring. That's not bad. Uh, let's go ping the Devoted Druid for one. I don't mind drawing the Soul Ring. I'll just play the Creeping Tar Pit, and then I can't attack because of the one ring protection. Don't get to draw a card here. Next turn, I'm going to strip mine you, and I'm going to play Fable. Leovold is just shutting this whole thing down. Okay, you have three mana now. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. No plays. Okay, draw Thief of Sanity. Plus one on Strip Mine. I'm going to use my first land drop, I think, to play Strip Mine. Strip Mine your island. And then second land drop. Let's see. I guess I play Arid Mesa. Oh, is this a Vendillion click? Oh, sure. That's fine. Your Vendillion click, <laughs> I get to draw from Leovold. And now if you want to click any of these cards away, I draw <laughs> I draw Abrupt Decay, which I can use to kill Delighted Halfling. And if you don't Vendillion click Thief of Sanity, like it can just block. I mean, this game is, Leovold is just dominating this game. Hmm. 
Oh, I, now I hit a land on top. I guess I'll just play that land. And... Soul Ring. Fable. Abrupt Decay, the Delighted Halfling. Pass the turn. And you lose two life. I mean, I guess I could... I mean, it does. It kind of doesn't matter. There's an argument for killing the Vendillion Click so I can attack for five, and then my Ren doesn't get attacked, but I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to kill kill all your mana so you can't cast any spells. Lotus Cobra, sure. So I draw a Expressive Iteration. I know my top card's a Mishra's Bauble. I am going to discard Arid Mesa to draw a Mishra's Bauble. Not going to discard Iteration. All right, I'll play Iteration. Oh, yeah. Fiery Confluence, Hand, Bottom, Preordain. I mean, this is just disgusting now. Let's see. I'm going to even give up a little Oracle value, I think. I just want to kill all of... Uh, Slurp's permanence here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can block Cobra on one of them. Because I needed the second red off of the Fable. I guess I could have not attacked with Oracle of Moldiah, but I don't think that that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way I see it with the Force of Will and the Delighted Halfling, like, if I did it the other way around and they forced me, I would be like, oh, that's my fault. <laughs> so, let's go... Plus one on the strip mine. Strip mine. Four to each opponent. One to each creature. And that is game set and draft. <laughs> I guess we'll play the bobble too, why not? And that'll be a 2-1 for me and a win for the team. You love to see it. Managed to get them down to no permanence in play except a one ring, which was not quite enough. I think this deck so bailed out by that strip mine. This, it was such a good strip mine deck. Really never got an exploration game going, but it did everything else. Also, four fetches was nice. I could have used one more duel. Like a white red or white green duel would have gone a long way. Even like, I don't know, black, blue. I don't know. Any duel would have been useful. But I still think this deck played out really nicely. It had a force of will, which was key because it's kind of a slow deck otherwise. It did have Exploration and Soul Ring, but they didn't make a ton of early appearances, though my draws overall did, were pretty heavy on Strip Mine, so I can't complain about that. And a lot of good threes, plus the whole Entomb, Loam, Ramanop, and Ren and Six combo. So ended up playing out really well. Love playing these decks, and uh, love taking home the dub. That'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you hanging out with me. And tomorrow, maybe we'll draft another Strip Mine deck. Who knows? Oh, hello, Max Smith. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>